Coming up on Shalom TV, we catch up with Jasmine Bowen, Queensland polo cross player. Find out more about Shalom TV's partnership with Bundaberg Now. Meet the Year 11 business team that produced the Quizin and Quizarel commercial. And get ready for Samuel Johnson's visit to Shalom and much more. Hello and welcome again to Shalom TV. When it comes to an amazing person, Samuel Johnson is a household name and our principal, Mr. Dan McMahon, has exciting information on his visit to the college. Welcome to the next edition of Shalom TV. I just wanted to say a couple of words about the great work our parents and friends have done in revamping their arrangements of how we do monthly meetings. Where they're very conscious that parents are busy people, so they're trying to put on several events a year that they think will be of great interest to parents. We had the first one of those last week with a visit by Madonna King, journalist and author, and talking about her book about fathers and daughters and those wonderful relationships that can exist. It was a well attended event. So thank you for the, to the PNF for that initiative. But I'd also like to just put in your calendars our next event for the Night with Samuel Johnson, actor and activist on cancer research. Samuel Johnson is well known to Australians who watch TV um, that he's a well-known actor. But since the death of his sister, he's got very interested in research for cancer and raising funds to combat that insidious disease. In a community as big as Shalom, we are so often touched by the effects of cancer and I know this is close to the hearts of many of us. So we're lucky to have Sam come to Shalom on Thursday the 13th of June to talk to our students and that night present in our Performing Arts Theatre to parents at 7pm. And I'd really encourage you all to come along to that. He'll be an entertaining and engaging speaker. And just looking at that issue of what can we do for ourselves, how do we protect against cancer, what are the warning signs, but also what can we do to combat that disease within our society. This event is open to anyone in Bundaberg. And again, that's the initiative of the parents and friends to go wider than Shalom. So parents from any school in Bundaberg are welcome to come to this night, Thursday, June 13th, 7 p.m. in the Shalom Performing Arts Theatre. Samuel Johnson, as well as being an award-winning actor in Australia, is well known recently for winning Australia's Dancing with the Stars in the last uh, round of that competition. So he's become a, a household feature in so many homes across the country. We're delighted to have, be able to have him here at Shalom. Sam's in town also for the Friday night for a fundraising dinner. Purchasing tickets to that dinner are on our website and on our Facebook page. And again, I'd really encourage you, if you're able to, to support that fantastic event at the Multiplex Centre on Friday, June 14th. With the upcoming Quizin and Quizreal Carnival not far away, we needed a commercial to promote the event, so we put a class of Year 11 students to the task. Over the last two terms of 2019, the Certificate 3 in Business students have been working really closely with Mr Page on creating a Shalom TV advertisement, um, advertising the upcoming Quizreal and Quizin Confraternity Shield Carnival that's happening here in Bundaberg. So in classes we just kind of sat down and worked together as a team to um, pull our ideas together and make it actually happen. The drafting part of the commercial was pretty hard but easy at the same time because we had to work as a team to try and like get the draft together. I was filming alongside with Mr. Page um, and um, he told me how to film correctly and how to get the exact angle to get the view of the uh, landscape. Actually filming was fun, having to like get the smooth transition into the shots, so it's cool. Yeah, it's been a fantastic project for the kids because they've actually been able to work together in a real life situation, overcoming whatever kind of boundaries um, come their way and learning how to problem solve in specific situations. Antonio Cafusi is featured heavily in your advertisement. Why choose Antonio? Because he's a well-known person in the NRL, um, you know, like Lee, and, um, you know, he's well known, so he was good to play as in the ad. I was the one holding the microphone, getting all the audio for the ad, and it was a good learning experience because I didn't realise that so much went into the production of an advertisement. Learn how to work as a team. Yeah. This being a new subject, it was it's good to just learn everyone's personalities and how we work together as a team. I reckon it would have took longer because since like 
we would have to get the scripts and then we would have to go to Mr. Page and tell him what to do. Yeah, like include what we had to say. It was just a lot of work to do. Yeah, the students are really happy with the outcome. They're a tough group to crack sometimes. Three, two, one. The fields are ready. Globe College invites you to join us in the beautiful Bundaberg for the 2019 Quizzen and Quizzle Carnival held on the 30th of June to the 5th of July. Shalom TV is excited with the announcement of a new partnership with Bundaberg Now to help promote positive stories. So what does this mean? Look, uh, first of all, I'm Jack Dempsey, Mayor of the beautiful Bundaberg region and it's a great privilege to be on Shalom TV. A fantastic avenue of getting the great news out from Shalom College right out to uh, not just the parents and the students but right out to the community. And that's a little bit like what Bundaberg now is. It's about getting communications out not just to the community but also to our council staff as well. So uh, certainly all the staff here, over 800 staff, are part of the community and we have our internal communications and then we have our wider communications that which is Bundaberg Now. Bundaberg Now contacted Shalom College uh, once they saw our Shalom TV was launched. Um, they wanted to partner with us because of our great news stories that we were promoting on Shalom TV and it's a great partnership for us because it's a great way to not only show Shalom TV just to our parent and our internal community but to broadcast it to the whole Bundaberg and wider area. We find that communities right across the whole of the region are actually striving to be connected and one of the ways that we can get them connected is through Bundaberg now and having that positive communications in their lives. We create um, smaller segments to give to Bundaberg now, uh, just good news stories that they might be interested in in promoting to the wider community so they don't get the whole um, Shalom TV program but just smaller segments that they can help promote and use as content for, for the wider community. Oh look, uh, hashtag love Bundaberg. It's, it allows all the citizens, both young and old, to be proud of their great region. And uh, certainly we love Bundaberg and uh, we want to make sure that uh, every person can understand even more about their region, that they are able then to pass on to not just visitors to the region, but spread the news that Bundaberg is the best place to live, work, raise a family and invest because by ensuring that our region grows, it means more jobs and a better future and more services for the citizens that are going to be here. Jasmine Bowen is a Queensland representative polo cross player. We caught up to find out more about this exciting sport. I've been riding for as long as I can remember, but I've played polo cross competitively since for seven years. I have 13 horses. My whole family's done it from my grandparents and their parents and I've just carried on from them. The adrenaline rush, yeah, and it's just fun. You really connect with people and polo cross. It's like polo and lacrosse mixed together and it's got rules like netball. The lines are like netball. You have six players on a team and only three go on at once. They usually go for eight minutes and there's four eight minute chuckers. I got selected to play in a Queensland team. Um, it, we played against the New Zealand team in a, for two games. We won the first by four and lost the second by one, but we still ended up winners overall. It was the Cooper's Cup and which has been going on since 1989, I'm pretty sure. I would like to be in the Australian squad before I turn 23, which is my hope. And there's another to play in the Australian World Cup, which was just recently just happened at Warwick in um, April, which I went and watched, which is really cool. And I also played in a Barristock Interstate Series, which I played for Queensland there. Um, and we got to the final but lost to New South Wales in that final. But there's another World Cup in 2023, which I'm aiming to go for, but I don't know. 
we'll see. We're off and away for Polycross to travel because we have to travel seven, eight hours sometimes. And this school gives me a lot of support when I do that. And they help me catch up on work. And Shalom Showcase took place on Friday and Saturday evening, celebrating all things creative at Shalom. A showcase is a collaboration between the music, dance, drama and the visual arts um, departments here at Shalom. And basically it's just a chance for us to showcase the skills and the talents that we have here at Shalom and it's a great chance for the public to see um, some of the things that we do here. And it doesn't happen all the time, it just happens sporadically I guess when um, we have the energy to do it. <laughs> I guess. We have about 20 minutes per department, so 20 minutes dance, 10, 20 minutes drama, 20 minutes music. We have the art um, display out in the foyer, but we also um, have a collaboration at the end between all of the departments, all the performing arts departments, so it gives a chance to put all of the um, skills together and see what, that, um, what can come out of that in a mini musical sort of thing. Yeah, it went well. Um, really good feedback from the audience, so and the kids enjoyed it, and that's the main thing. That's why we do it. So. It's now time for music for One Wish, and to step inside a concert for our music program from junior students to seniors. Mia, you played the trumpet in your awesome brass group, and I know that you play trumpet in the foundation band as well. Why would you do this again? Well, I'll do it again because it was fun, and I loved listening to all the groups, and I liked the experience of being like in the set. So would you want to do this again like in another time, maybe this year or next year? Definitely. Would you play trumpet solo on telly? on the Shalom TV? If I could, I definitely Really? Could. Yeah. I wonder if we should do like a little kind of a competition-y thing to see who wants to play. Okay. Who would be in on that? A little meet? Okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> doing this activity help you in other areas of your life? Um, well, it really helps because if you just feel really down now and you're not enjoying what you're doing, you can just kind of turn to music. Um, I looked forward more to being able to play with new people and there being a bigger range of things to do. The second part of the music program will be on our next show. Well, that's the end of the show. See you next time on Shalom TV. Goodbye. Goodbye.